hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically we can take the screenshot of the desktop screen using uh, a tweak enter application which is basically a desktop gui framework of python let me show you the application what application we will be building let me execute this python script this is basically a tweak enter application you will see that it uh, launches this desktop application and we have various options out there basically we can take the full screenshot of the screen here and as soon as you click uh, execute the script guys it will create this folder which will store all the screenshots taken by this application so if i click full screen it will take the full screen sh sh screen sh screenshot and it will store it inside this folder you will see it has taken the screenshot and taken the full screen sh screenshot and it has saved it as png file here you will see it has randomly assigned the file name here and you can even take another screenshot here you can go to a different screen click on full screen shot and now you will see it has taken this next screenshot like this so in this way guys you can take uh, the full screenshot full screenshot uh, using this tweak enter application and let's suppose you want to clip using a some kind of dimensions you will pass dimensions also here let's suppose the x coordinate and then the y coordinate and then the width of the image which is 1280 height is 720 so now if i clip with dimensions so what will happen it will only clip a certain dimensions of the screen so let's suppose if i say clip with dimensions so what will happen here it will only clip those dimensions now you can see that it only taken that x coordinate y coordinate and then the the width that you provided which was 1280 and the height was 720 and or uh, it just clipped or captured only the dimensions that you provided inside those input field and uh, there is also a option guys which is open the screenshot after you uh, capture the screenshot so if i now click clip open script it will open the screenshot after it has taken the screenshot inside the picture viewer where you can just see the picture here like this so this is a really nice feature that you have inside our desktop application so basically you can even copy the screenshot cl to clipboard also so these uh, features are really important so let's suppose if you take the screenshot now if you want to you can see already our screenshot is uh, copied to clipboard so now if you just want to paste your screenshot some somewhere else you can control v it paste it somewhere else so we will try to build this application from scratch guys so let's start building this application so let me show you the dependencies which will be needed for this application i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website the link is given in the description of this video you will find all the source code in the description you will copy paste all that step by step instruction is given so first of all in order to build this application we will need a pillow library pillow basically it's an image manipulation library inside python so just go to your command line and using pip command pip install P I L L O Y O W pillow and also we will need uh, win 32 clipboard in order to copy the screenshot to clipboard and we also need pi screenshot in order to take the screenshot of a specified location so these three dependencies we will need for for this dependent for this application so simply execute this command inside your command line I have already executed these commands so I have already have got all the for the pillow dependency guys you will need to write like this PIL sorry I think pillow PIL like this yeah so just install that after you do that you will we will create this application from scratch so first of all we just need to import all the dependencies which are needed for this application so simply you need to paste the dependencies which are needed to enter 
pillow price screenshot win 32 clipboard just do it and then we will simply create a sample to enter application we will give it a title so you will see we have given the title with the title method and then we will simply start this application using root dot main loop so now if I start this application you will see that python image dot py you will see some screen is there so now we need to add some widgets on the screen so for adding it it's very simple here we need to create a directory where we will be storing all the screenshots taken by the application so right here we will have a simple if condition here and we will use this operating system module we will check if this directory exists if this directory doesn't exist we will create this directory using the make directory method so now if you execute this application you will see in the left hand side it will create a directory which is called as snipes so inside this directory we will store all the captured images that's all so after this we will draw some canvas on the screen guys so after this we will draw a canvas widgets on the screen using the canvas widgets we will add it to the root window we will provide 500 250 background will be light blue copy clip show clip so these two will be the integer variables that we will be expecting the user input and then basically we will have two check boxes which will be there inside to enter after this so let me paste it so these ch check bo boxes are added using the check button widgets of tweak enter so now basically in order to add this it's very simple let me add these three widgets in order to add this we will use the pack method guys you will see we are invoking the pack method on copy clip check show clip check pack method and also the canvas as well and also we can add this which is copy clip pack show clip pack like this and also we are adding the canvas using the pack method so now if i execute this application you will see if i close this application if i now open this python image.py so it is saying it this object has let me see what is okay i think we don't need to write this let me execute this once again So now you can see that this is our GUI interface. We have two checkboxes and uh, we have a background of light blue color right here. So now what we need to do is that we need to first of all create some buttons out there. So just after these we need to create some buttons basically so these are the buttons out there guys we will first of all have some entry widgets out there where we will be expecting some user input where the user will uh, write the x coordinate y coordinate the width and the height of the screenshot then we have a simple button so yeah we will have this button out there this button will say here basically for clipping the full screen let me just paste this full code guys so i will explain you 
what is how it is done so you will see we have these buttons out there clip with dimensions when we press this button we are executing this method inside this command here we are executing this get user dimensions method and passing it to the partial we have a background color property foreground property as well then we are adding this button to the canvas so inside this get user dimensions we are getting the left coordinate of the mouse top right bottom coordinate of the mouse and then we are configuring it and this is basically the button widget in order to clip the full screen to take the full screen sh shot we are executing this method get full screen so whenever we press this button so inside this method we are simply we are just calling this method which is clip screen so inside this clip screen method guys we are passing the dimensions as an argument here and basically we are just waiting for 0 0.3 milliseconds using the time dot sleep method inside to enter and then we are capturing the screenshot using inside the snipes folder we are just giving a random file name to it using the string method date time now function like this dot png so then we are saving this image file using the pillow library image grab we are using this one drawing the box using the dy uh, dynamic dimensions that we got and also we are preparing for copy to clipboard if the user has hit in the copy to clipboard and if the user has uh, sh just asked the to show the image as well we will we are showing the image as well by using image dot show that's it so this is for the copy to clipboard functionality we are using this module which is win32 clipboard we are opening the clipboard then emptying the clipboard once again setting the clipboard data like this so this is your application guys all the source code is given you will see that it take, it shows the screenshot which which, ha, which it has taken so all the screenshots are automatically saved inside the snipes folder this is basically a tweak enter desktop application that we have created all the source code is given in the description of this video thank you very much for watching this video